What's going on YouTube? So today's Thursday. Okay, tomorrow I'm driving to Vegas with my girl Talia. So I'm just it just came to Venice early. I'm doing my fasting cardio with these views mate. Check it out. So there's basically loads of coffee shops there in the beach. So I come here, I park at Gold's Venice. That's very, very close. And I walk here, do my cardio. Now I stop in a coffee shop and I have a nice break. It's gonna consist probably of pancakes, you already know. And no omelette. And after that, uh, now it's like 10.30, 11, it's 10.30. I have a uh, survey Thursday. I'm doing a personal training session with the IBB Pro, the Pedro, it's an IBB Pro, good friend of mine. He's killing my chest, it's really helping me to grow it. And I've only been doing like three weeks, but sick, man. Either way, I'm gonna take advantage of it's not windy, you can hear me. It's a beautiful spot. So to chat a little bit about my life situation right now. So everything is going great. And yeah, basically, I'm enjoying doing YouTube videos, honestly. I'm not doing it because I want to be famous, so I want to I wanna have a one million YouTube channel. I'm just enjoying it, my life is great. I have a great girlfriend, cannot ask for more. My job is going great. My family is good, everything is good. Cannot ask for more, you know? So I just do this because I, I love it. I love to share my passion with you guys. That's bodybuilding. Loves being a bodybuilder, Jados, you already know. But honestly, in terms of like competitions also, it's not my thing. I've done two, but did it for fun. But it doesn't appeal to me. Those last two weeks where you go to extreme body fat levels and like you don't wanna have sex with your girlfriend, you don't wanna anything, man. Your work is affected. Don't like that shit, bro. I like more how I look now. Healthy need. And yeah, gonna hit tomorrow EDC Vegas. Yeah, man. Uh, you probably be thinking, oh, well, fuck, uh, he lives there, whatever it is. Maybe you're not happy with your life. But honestly, mate, just advice I can give you. Anyone can do anything. It's just how bad you want shit. Everyone wants things, but no one is willing to put the hard work. I'm not speaking only about a physique. I was just walking before here and a guy comes up to me and like, fuck, what do you take to have that body? I'm like, what do you mean, what do you take, man? You know, like, people always think there's shortcuts, just like, you know? So to have a body like this, oh, you take a pill or you take a steroid and you have it. And it's not like that, man. It's years of hard work. And it's like, oh, you've only trained, what, five years and a half, six? And you have the body? Oh, shit, you know, I've trained for five years. You old man, I don't think you've trained like me. First of all, you don't have the intensity I have training. You don't put the effort I put into nutrition every day. You don't sleep, you don't this, you drink, you do that. The more you put into something, the more you get out. So if in your life, if you wanna make a change, no one's gonna make it for you. The opposite, people are gonna encourage you not to do it. If you wanna, for example, move to another country, Everyone's gonna tell you, oh, that's crazy, don't do that, this, that, your parents, so everyone's gonna be putting you down. You have to be strong here, man. Have a strong mindset. Says, fuck it, I'm doing that shit. It's like me. Everything I've done it by myself with this fucking hands, mate. And I'm fucking proud of it. I'm gonna keep doing it. And if I can motivate you guys to do a change in your life for me, it means more than making a thousand dollars. Honestly, when people send me DMs and send me like befores and afters, and they're like, look what I've done following your YouTube, like, that's enough for me to keep doing this shit, because I love it, that's why I do this shit, man. Because I remember when I started on the gym, I had no stupid things like, oh, I thought maybe training in the afternoon was better than in the morning. You know, I was having shakes with three scoops of protein, because I thought I was gonna grow. Like, all that stuff, I wanna like, I wanna teach all those people that are studying, people that don't know, that that's stupid things. That is stupid, you know that. All those things, that's what I wanna do, man. Cause I would have loved 
when I started to be able to watch YouTube channel and like learn all those stuff, you know? But yeah, either way, I'm talking too much. We're right in here at the coffee shop. It's about time to get a feed, mate. First meal of the day, pre-workout meal. Let's get it. I'll take it with me. Yes, man. Veni Sale House. Let's check the menu. Okay, that's a no. Bye. They don't have pancakes. Now, honestly, you see, I like to get like an omelette and I'll get two side pancakes. Not like a full pancake dish. They just had waffles. Not a waffle guy, but either way, they just, the plate they had was like a big waffle. So, fuck that. Let's go to another one, man. I had a break the other day in one there that sounds so. Probably I'm gonna hit the same. The thing I like, I'm a guy that if I try something I like it, I always go there and I end up not trying other places, so kind of like, fuck it, I'm kind of like trying new places, you know? Okay, this, this cafe is always fucking full, mate. Like, always. I wish I come to Venice, it's full, so let's fucking try. So, so, looks like I know why it's always full, like, at least the menu looks sound as fuck. And I ordered an X Benedict salmon. Actually, X, I haven't tried good X Benedict salmon since I left Australia. I'm using about my first EDC Vegas paint. So, yeah, it's really difficult to do that shit good. And I'm excited, probably, it looks like they're good. And I ordered two side fluffy pancakes. Don't forget your juice, mate. doesn't look great, looks cheap, but let's taste it, let's taste it and I'll let you know. Okay, so, I'm gonna put the ketchup and the, the potatoes. That's it. Let's try this egg, and egg, salmon. The thing is that, I don't really see them, but... Let's try this shit, man. Australia puts the standard very high, man. With eggs, Benedict salmon. Yes to the packages. We got okay, so fucking excited man. It's Thursday night. Got a fade. Kinda like new fade. I never like really left it so so long here, the contrast, but I kinda like it. A lot of loads of goodies arrive home today and tomorrow I'm driving to fucking Vegas EDC. Motherfucking EDC just wait one second. Wait. What? Are you fucking saying, mate? Two EDC tickets. Bam! What are you saying? You fucking marrying my... My badass... Fucking... Bam! You gotta get a cover back to wear this shit, bro. Finger Nation on deck. Okay. So we got packages, man. I go home. Oh, first of all, I wanna show you something I bought. You're getting some next level photos on my on my Instagram because I got a 50 mil for the camera I'm filming right now, the Sony 5100. 
the vlogger, but it does insane photos and it's small. I barely use the Sony A7, the big one. So, man, I fucking love packages. Let's see what is this shit. I'm always waiting for shit, bro. Oh boy, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if this is gonna be too big, man. That motherfucker, the size. What size is this? Rocking those retro Adidas. Oh, they look okay. I need to try them possibly. I don't want to see if there's sound. Okay. Next package. Holy fuck, mate. The fuck was that? Oh, this is some shit I bought for my girl, bro. I bought this shit for my girl in the website of girls. So. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hey. This is for my chick, bro. There's a few dresses and shit. So. So, yeah. Chef's trying tonight. <laughs> 